According to the United Nations, 10 million Ukrainians have fled their homes, and those remaining describe living in a war zone as hell. Russian soldiers are going door to door, dragging civilians from their homes in scenes reminiscent of the horrors of Nazi Germany. Stephen Fabian reports. Enemy at the door. Russian troops force their way into an apartment complex in a suburb of Kyiv. They smash the security cameras in the elevators using rifle barrels. In surveillance video obtained by the New York Times, you can see the invaders move into the complex to take up sniper positions. We're seeing videos of Russians literally invading people's apartments. It shows how Putin is, again, on his heels, off his timeline, ratcheting up uh, his force of terror, actually dragging Ukrainian citizens out of their homes. And so it's extraordinary, these atrocities, particularly those that are in the urban centers. <laughs> Unarmed crowds chanting go home managed to turn back Russian armored vehicles in the main square of the southern city of Kherson. But their victory was short-lived. The Russians returned, dispersing the crowds with live rounds. Five Russian generals have been killed. Former General David Petraeus tells CNN he knows some of them. The Ukrainians have very, very good snipers, and they've just been picking them off left and right. Are these like the kind of guys you, you have heard of? Um, some of them are, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them are, especially the three-star general right there. The capital city, Kiev, is taking a pounding. This huge fireball is a missile strike on a shopping mall Sunday night. The stunning aftermath today, a landscape of devastation. This is totally insane. Here's how the busy mall looked before the invasion. Now it's a heap of smoldering rubble. This bombed out apartment building now looks like a doll's house. One wall is obliterated. An elderly resident can be seen retrieving his possessions. And a woman posted this video diary from a bombed building in Kharkiv, the second largest city. Water from broken pipes has frozen into icicles. This is what Russia brings to people in Ukraine.